Hey, it's Jay with Jay's Balls. So I'm hanging out here with Mojo. I open up his enclosure on a regular basis. I like to give him the opportunity to get out and kind of explore or stretch out if he wants to. But he doesn't always want to get out. You know, he doesn't always want to be handled. And I'm, I'm not saying that he's, he's defensive or aggressive with me. But sometimes he just wants to chill. And I'm, I'm totally fine with that. I don't like to force him out of, of his enclosure. If he doesn't need to come out for cleaning purposes or, or some serious matter, there's no reason to make your snake get out of his enclosure or her enclosure just to satisfy um, you know, your needs. If they want to stay in their enclosure or they're content just hanging out in there, hang out with them by their enclosure. You, know, you don't have to, to rip them out of there when they're in their safe zone or they're comfortable or, or whatever. So I'll show you guys Mojo. Here he is. He's just chilling. You know, his enclosure has been open for, wow, it's a good picture of your yawn, buddy. So his enclosure has been open for maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And he sticks his head out a little bit. For the most part, though, he just, he kind of sits there like that. His head will hang out a few inches. He'll pay attention to everything that's going on. But if he doesn't feel like coming out, he won't. Um, and that, that's kind of his thing. So I let him do that. You know, if something piques his interest or he decides he wants to move around a little bit, he can come right out. He can get down on the floor very easy. It's only a few feet down, which is really nothing for a 10-foot snake. Um, he could climb all over this house. So that's really all I wanted to, to share with you guys was that um, you know, they don't always need to come out of their enclosure, and they don't always want to. It's good to give them that, that chance or that opportunity, but if they just want to hang out, let them do that. You know, let them be comfortable, let them be happy, and don't, don't force them out of their comfort zone just for your own satisfaction. And, you know, I mean, I, if it's your snake, you can do that if you want, but personally, I just, I, I kind of try to read their body language and, and let them decide what they want to do if that's an option. Um, right now there's no reason he needs to get out, so I've let him decide to just sit there and hang out. You know, be a good boy like he is. He's super sweet. He does flinch a little bit, you know, if you touch his, his head ever so slightly, he'll flinch. Um, or maybe the upper six inches of his neck. But he's never, he's never, um, tried to strike at me or anything like that. He's always been a very, very sweet boy. And I can stick my hand right in there. He gives two craps about me. He knows I'm not going to hurt him. You know, in the month or maybe six weeks, I've kind of lost track of exactly how long I've had him. But I've spent a lot of time bonding with him and a lot of time letting him know that, you know, I'm here to take care of him. I'm not ever going to hurt him. I'm always very gentle with him. Um, even when I had to get a piece of mulch out of his mouth, he wasn't happy about that. But I was patient. And I, I, I mean, yeah, it took me like six hours but I did it as gentle as I could, and I didn't want to imprint on him or, or leave a bad taste in his mouth, so to speak, by being rough or, you know, too forceful, um, you know, when I'm interacting or handling with him, because I don't want him to remember those things. So, he's a super sweet boy. I just wanted to kind of show him to you guys. I know most everybody's seen him before, but... He's really sweet and he's beautiful. He's shed about a week ago, so he is looking great. Even though the camera never can never really do him justice. But that's my big boy Mojo. I'll show you how he flinches just a little bit. Kind of more like a nervous, almost like a little tick when you touch him there. Uh, like a ticklish spot or something like that. But. He doesn't mind overall. We give him little pats. We do all this kind of stuff. So it's like, fine, Mojo. You don't want to get out. You don't want to explore. You don't have to. But I'm going to pet you. And I'm going to let you know that I'm here. So that's all I had. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope everyone's doing great.